TV. Oh la la, I'm very fit. That is one thing I got to know today. Now, five months down the road, several sectors continue to struggle with survival due to challenges raised by the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. Now, the arts and culture sector is one of those that suffered due to restrictions on public performances that are still in place. And others like the religious leaders have been in talks with the Ministry of Health on plans for standard operating procedures needed to get back in business. Now, today being a Friday, we decided to share a space with musical artist Cinderella Baby and the film producer Nana Kaga on what they would like to see done to restart the sector. Welcome to Morning at NTV. Thank you. It's an honor to have you, ladies. <laughs> you too. How we really got to this to combo, you. God knows how. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> when I saw you on the post, yeah. I, what, to look to one. I saw you. I thought this is going to be fire. Here we are. This is going to be fire. You. How are you holding up, Cindy? I'm good. I'm okay. I'm the, bored. I really want to work. Yeah. But I'm good. The last artist who had a performance and the government shut down yes so you 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 went in history the last performance before the lockdown thank god yes. in 2020 i did nana yes. kaga good yes. to see you here thank you a filmmaker yes. and uh, a producer directed out there is something that is going on in the industry so just a few weeks ago the ucc came up with a regulation through the minister of ict yeah. uh, regulating how you perform how you work if you have a Eureka moment for Cindy and you're writing down a song, mm. write it, but before you even go to Nassim to produce it, present it before UCC, mm. that they see that it rhymes with the national framework of the ideology where the nation is going. Yeah. What's your point about that? What's your thought <laughs> about that? It's funny. I really thought you'd start with uh, nothing. No, we we'll start with you. Why no? Please, by all means. Because, okay. be, because why it goes with you, before you do the video, you do the audio first. Yes. Now they have to first certify that. Yeah. And when you're done with the audio, then you go, you say, now this is the, 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 the vision board of, of the video. Yeah, true. We're looking at dressing like this. We're yeah. looking at using this kind of vaccine and all. What's your thought on that? First of all, it doesn't make sense. I mm. think we need to look at the creative arts industry as a creative art industry. Mm. Okay. If you say that, that already that rule uh, d just uh, takes away the creativeness about it. There's nothing creative about me presenting my idea to you. Uh -huh. And then you approve it. At the yes. end of the day, it's up to you to decide uh -huh. what I think. Uh -huh. So I have to write down my thoughts and say, this is what I want to write. This is the song that I want to produce next. Mm. And then I pay you for that, by the way. That was just oh, yes, funny. So, yes, you have to that pay. was just funny. <laughs> I pay you to sit down mm. and analyze my lyrics. And mm. then after that, I pay you so that I can go to studio and produce the song. Mm. Then after the song, I pay you to license me to actually release oh, yes. the song. And, and I have to do the same for the video. Yes. And it, it it's laughable. It's unfair. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. It's killing the creativity. It is, absolutely. Nana. Yes. How do you feel about this new vibe? Before you write a script of a movie or any drama you want to put or premiere on any TV, write your script, present it before the regulator. Present your brain. The regulator goes through, <laughs> in, uh, uh, peruses through, scrutinizes if it identifies with the regulations. And then you can go ahead and shoot. Okay, first of all, there's so many things wrong with these regulations. <laughs> so many things wrong. Like? I cannot start. As a technocrat, mm. Um, you cannot police mm. the arts. Mm. It is that simple. Okay. The arts define generations. They define eras. Mm. They're the voices of people when they're dissatisfied. Yeah. They're the voices yes. of people to imagine. <laughs> Our children must dream through the arts. Yes. Uh -huh. You cannot police the arts as a technocrat. Uh -huh. Nana the engineer cannot police Nana the artist. Uh -huh. It is that simple. The fact that you are sitting down uh -huh. as a bunch of people with no creativity mm. in you, not mm. a single single drop mm. and we have been told that they got together with some artists and yeah. they've refused to give us the names yeah. and the credentials of this artist yep. to the yeah. premise of how they arrived at these regulations yeah. to police a creative <laughs> is to silence a generation okay you cannot silence a generation. The mm. arts speak mm. for the people, especially the youth. Uh -huh. So to say to me that, Nana, before you create, before you express yeah. your problems, your dissatisfaction, your mm. dreams, you must come to me so I can give you permission. Do you think this speak? happened because they didn't involve the real stakeholders who are in the real business? Or is it the absence of an umbrella that takes the arts as one? 
that they can have one voice. Could it be one of the issues that possibly affected I, this? I think the thing of one voice is an excuse. You yes. know, when people want to impose something on you, they start telling you, you're not united. This is why this is happening uh -huh. to you. This is not true. It's not because we're not united. Uh -huh. There is a reason why I am here and Nana is here, yeah. you know, because we're all concerned In about the, the arts, industry. Yes. So when people don't want to mobilize you, they give the excuse. Well, it's because you're not united. We talk to the ones who could. Yes, but exactly, you know. And the other thing that you said about those old, they have these old people in the industry mm. who cannot produce a movie anymore, who can't yeah. write a hit anymore. Yeah. The industry right now does not profit them at all. Mm. So if the government says, oh, we have this budget of a wow. billion shillings wow. and, and we want to do this with them, and then they don't care. The, if the industry dies, it doesn't yeah. affect him because yeah. he doesn't write anymore. He's not creative anymore. So when he's given this money, he, he just takes it yes. and it doesn't matter who suffers after he that. He doesn't understand it. That has affected us. Every time I've been in a meeting and they say we're meeting artists, I get them like, who is that? Who is that? Yes. Who is that? Who is that? But I'm like, oh, that guy is still alive. Like yeah. <laughs> people who, yes. like who are not are not in the industry at all. And I've been here 15 years. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm not a new you, you, kid. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, who are these people? And those are the people speaking for us and yeah. and making decisions for us. Oh, and yeah. they're messing up the we industry. We are suffering from the same thing yeah. mm. that has been talked about by mm. every single person that I have met. Mm. Yeah. We are suffering from a generation that does not understand the people behind them. They think. They cannot perceive the idea of giving up control mm. to people that are actually living the millennial life, that mm. understand what is going on right mm. now. Um, they have nothing to lose. They mm. have nothing at stake. And mm. they're the people making rules and regulations for a generation that's trying to define itself, mm. a generation that is trying to find its footing, what it means to be Ugandan, mm. a generation that feels that they're not being supported, they're under, they're underestimated, they're mm. being, now we feel like we're being punished mm. just to be creative. To be mm. creative in Uganda is already a cost to bear mm. because it's not like you're going to make a ridiculous amount of money. Mm. No. A lot of us are in this industry because of passion, oh, yeah. because yeah the arts chose us mm. not because we chose the arts mm. it is a very very strange thing to be an artist you mm. don't feel alive unless you're creating mm. so for someone to come to you and say to you right. <laughs> first to the ministry <laughs> even before you put it on paper <laughs> togeza. Nogeda no that's, the word. that's the word togeza. Togeza. <laughs> It's the yeah. culture we've suffered from, and mm. I keep talking about it. Mm. The culture, if you speak up, you'll be mm. punished. So we're trying to understand mm. the premise of how they came up with mm. these regulations. They don't make sense to me. Mm. Why are you trying to extract money from an industry you don't support? Do you mm. think this was politically motivated because now you have so many artists going into politics? From it's Bobby Wine and the others, is it a wave that Cindy, was... you go first. It's, no, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to say it was definitely, you know, mm, uh, political. Political move. But I, I cannot ignore the fact that sometimes we artists have overtaken advantage of our rights and oh, like... Yeah you know, use them in a wrong way. That has happened. Oh, and yes. I saw it and mm. I was like, okay, this shouldn't be on TV. Mm. I, I can't sit here and say comfortably everything we do yes. should oh, be yeah. out there. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. There are things like that that, are, that have happened. Oh, yeah. But right now, seeing how everything is moving, it's, it's very about. easy to say this yes. is really going towards politics. Oh, yes. Last year, I got so much um, hate from people Backlash. when I said that mm. artists are getting into politics. Now, politics is going to come for us. Because mm. before that, they didn't care. It's here. Yeah, they exactly. didn't care. So mm. now, now it's here. It so is. obviously there's the political thing about Would it. you care if the government was investing in, in, in the arts industry and it's making sure that whatever you need, the support you need from the local end to the international end, it's there. If they came up with such regulations, would you care anyway? Of course, I, of course we would. Mm. Because if we don't have a voice mm. in how the policies that you impose upon us, mm. then it doesn't matter how much money you're putting in. Because if you're telling me that I give you so much money and then you must abide by what I'm telling you mm. is technically I am selling myself to you. I will be a slave to your policies okay. yes. without me being the creative that I mm. am. Yes. So now it's not even about money. Like you said, the political mm. arena has become a bit of a circus, yes. mm. if I may say so. Mm. Oh, yes. Every single person is now running for <laughs> office, whether mm. they're qualified or not. Yes. I will say it out here. Yeah. Is it the fact that the structures have crumbled? Maybe. Mm. Is it
it the fact that people are so dissatisfied? Maybe. Mm. But that comes through the arts. That's how we express ourselves. There's mm. a generation of youths out there that cannot take to the streets to riot what mm. they do. They pen their frustration on paper. On paper yeah. mm. They speak, their voices are through the arts, through mm. their clothing, their mm. rebellion. Mm. It's, it's the arts defined generations. They, they bring to us what we're doing wrong. So mm. I feel like the government, instead of addressing mm. these issues that people are bringing forward on different platforms, mm. they are choosing to muzzle an industry that they should be having dialogue with and saying, so, how do we... How do we curb these problems? Mm. How yeah. do we arrive at a situation? But, but as artists, do you think this will see the light? Will these regulations mm -hmm. see the light? The way you see the industry, the way Cindy is already no. taking it. <laughs> no, this will not see it's the light. It's a civil rebellion what, already. Where? Um, it has been there. I mean, these laws were presented last year. Yes. yes. And they, they brought them like, like you know, like, in, and then they Proposals. Yes. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. it's yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> and then they took I them back. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought, eh, we didn't care. You oh, know, yeah. we had meetings about it, but it mm. wasn't serious. It was like, oh, we are proposing oh, yeah. yes. these laws. Mm. And then now it's like we slept and then woke up in the morning like, oh, and this thing, it's the pick a law. Yeah, mm. it's, it's now real law. now, yeah. you know. So when, when this happened, it was, a shocker to the industry. These mm. laws can't work. They w they can't. My, my mother told me she's like, okay, now you're going to have to change everything because she was in that generation where they <laughs> oh, really obeyed yes. Yes. the yes. laws the and stuff. And my mother was in the police and oh, still she's dear. used to the whole law and order thing. She's like, now you're going to have to, you know, find a way to oh, change dear. stuff. To I'm like, mommy, I yeah. am going to jail. This is <laughs> <laughs> no, I I don't, don't, I I don't know. No, I, no, 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 no. I'm not with you there. Actually, I would prefer. Actually, I might end up in jail. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the reason there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Yes, there's no way. Mm. I, 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 there's no way. There's no write, way. When mm. I write issues about relationships, I always go a little bit farther oh, yes. than most artists do. Mm. I'm always a little bit bolder. Yeah, and I you're, say you're more than everybody mm. else. So I don't see sitting down with these guys from 40 years to 80 mm. years and explaining to Policing them. Policing your dress code sing. in the video. Yes, and, and then yes. I want to sing about this. Like mm. I don't. They will not get me. It's 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 they really really, really me. Sad my career will be dead. <laughs> yeah. So you you're better off in jail. Exactly. Yeah. But, like, but you know, know let, let me just sing. interject there. Mm. There's mm. also the issue that in the arts you cannot get away from politics, from mm. religion, because the arts imitate real life. Yes. Mm. So if you're telling me that I write a script and it mm. somehow has intonations of political mm. um, disagreement, de yeah. denominations mm. with the government. Mm that I, there's a risk that mm. my my script mm. will not be accepted Approved, yeah. mm. because let's face it as human beings we have political affiliations yes. and we will lean towards them oh, yes. and we will not take we will take away from the merit of mm. the script oh, and yes. the art mm. in order to pursue a more political mm. agenda. Mm. So I can, you cannot sit down and tell me that there will be no political intonation in the decisions that are made mm. on what is released, what's appropriate, what will work, what won't work. Yeah. Because it is what it is. And uh, right now we're living in a time of political turmoil mm. in Uganda. Yeah. People have very strong opinions. Oh, if yeah. you don't agree, you get abuse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, it's no longer a platform <laughs> for discussion. Yeah. There is, if you go as much as to say, you know, guys, things have crumbled, mm. but I'm nonpartisan mm. and I'm trying to understand as a Ugandan how yeah. we can fix this. You'll oh, good Lord. <laughs> I tell you, I closed down I my Facebook not. account. <laughs> I could not handle the backlash. So it's, it's, it's seriously, seriously not going to work with this where does this leave the, the the aspect of progress with regards to the film industry it, will it, it progress in it one or cripples the other? it we were just at the cusp because with mm. covid 19 let mm. me be honest it's been a blessing for people in the media not for mm. you mm. Yeah, because you don't do your concerts mm. yeah. but because people are now at home they're consuming more content yes. on, on television mm. on film so for some of us it's been a blessing mm. but mm. when you now impose these regulations you're taking the industry back mm. at least five years yeah. you taking us back to saying okay we have not supported you you've gotten where you've gotten by yourself yeah. but now we must strip you of all the success and achievements that you've That's gotten painful, right? it is quite painful when mm. you fought for yourself when you fought for your voice and your platform and to be seen mm. for a government body to mm. say to you now you've gotten here stop yeah. This is what you must do. Mm. And yet, you didn't hold my hand when I was walking that, you know, like Chameleon says, mm. Mm. <laughs> I have to make it to nation. He's an artist. So I'm yes. bringing that one back. I am. I, I, can yes. help. I okay. cannot help myself. <laughs> 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 Those bus corridor moments. Why don't you take it?
Yeah, yeah we, I have, hear you. we have to be honest with ourselves. Ugandans are struggling as mm. it is as an economy. People mm. are desperate. And the only time you really let go, you, you lose, it's <coughs> through the arts, it's through music. Music mm. has a way of uplifting oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. You see a film and you think you can dream again. Mm. We're living in a time where Ugandans need hope. Mm. We as artists create color. We mm. we create the extraordinary. We mm. stimulate the imagination. How yeah. dare you sit down and mm. say you cannot write, you cannot paint, you mm. cannot be a poet, mm. you cannot sing yeah. until mm. I give you permission to do that. To do that, Cindy. Where mm. does this leave um, the 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 concert? I mean, there's been a big wave, a shift in the yeah. way you do business, yeah, especially in the music industry, true. where you're not allowed to have concerts because of the SOPs. You cannot regulate people. You can't tell me mm. I'm going for a concert and I'm going to have a mask on. You'd have to sing along. No. It won't and happen. And then the social so distance thing as How has well, this yeah. um, badly affected your business, yeah. but on the flip side, it has given you a trick to your strategic business canvas as an yeah. artist? Um, first of all, it, it, we're, we've been slowed down. Mm. And the fact that we've been slowed down, we focus on actually the arts. There's yeah. a certain point when the industry is so fast, we have bubblegum music. Oh, yeah. Because we're trying to make money tomorrow, trying oh, yeah. to make money tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Now we've had time to sit down and, and our fans are analyzing our music more. Right now you write terrible lyrics and the fans are on you. Yeah. Before they didn't care because we're parting, we're parting, we're parting. Yeah. Right now they're like, what is this line? I know. What do you <laughs> mean? Do you do because, you, exactly, you know what I mean. Like, now they see the nonsense. Oh, yes. So it has given artists, I mean, peop, our audience mm. and us time to sit down and, like, focus. I and, and I really. think after this we're going to have, like, a lot of good lyricists and stuff oh, like that because nice. we've had time to sit yeah. and, 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 uh, and just create because mm. we're not making any money. Mm -hmm. So that has, has, been, has been improved. Just taught us that mm. you need to save some money. Oh, yes. but <laughs> I don't know about you, point. Nana, but we don't save money. Mm. We don't because we don't expect the industry anything to, to stop happen. Anyway. Down, yes, yeah. and also the industry is so expensive yes. that every time you get to a certain level, people expect more, more. And, and then more and, more and then more, and all that costs money every yeah. time. So this has, has brought every artist to back to the drawing board of, oh my God, like... We need to change. We mm. need to change. Oh, yeah. Yes, and that has been good. Mm. For the industry, that has been amazing. Yeah. We've gotten time to sit down and talk to the government. Recently, mm. I, I don't know if you guys knew about it, we spoke to the Minister of ICT, mm. and she actually held back the laws. She was like, you know what, let we me We need hold. to suspend these. We mm. need to suspend yeah. this, no. and we mm. sit down and we Man, speak. We, talk again. we are at that point right now. Yes. Nice. Of the, of the suspension. Oh, you yes. have no idea. I was like, yeah. <laughs> child. <laughs> you know, no, I'm that kind of woman. I'm like, when I'm doing something, mm. I go, I don't care what dog is backing. You're the going side. to go home. I go. Like, mm. I, I'm I'm like, whatever happens there, let it happen, mm. but I'm doing it. Mm. So I was scared about myself and what I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so when she said that, I was mm. like, oh, thank you. Mm. So now it's paused yes. and we can sit and talk. And mm. we explained to her that the people you call to talk to, they, they're not in the business. They're no. not in the business. Yes. You heard about them, yes, when you were growing up. Yes, yeah. we heard about them. But right now, it's a different it, whatever generation. happens, will not. Okay, they are an artist. Mm. But if the industry falls, it won't affect them because oh, yes. their career died done. 10 years ago. Don't they're done. They died. Yeah, it, okay. <laughs> Don't say died. For lack of a say, better term. Say it's sleeping. <laughs> Like we respect them. Mm. I do respect yes. them. But if anything happens to the industry, Nana, they won't get affected. Oh, yes. I know. I it, know. It won't hurt them. So mm. the people that you need to talk to are people like me, mm. her, who mm. are producing now, yeah. who are making money now, mm. who need the business now for our kids, for mm. our next generation. Mm -hmm. Those are people you should talk to. Um, did it in any way show you other streams of money um, where you you don't entirely depend on concerts and uh, you know, she went in history. She had the last concert and then I went know, into a lockdown. I know, I did. And you made a lot of money. I swear, I was coming. Nana, yeah, you we know will have this conversation. You will make good time at the time. We this will is have my this show. Oh, this is my show. I, look, I, Cindy, <laughs> yes. after the concerts, <laughs> after, after, after the concerts were locked down <laughs> and um, you had the very last show, yes. did this, in one way, open up a new stream of income to your land? Did you now start to see that, okay, I need to put my music copyrighted here, that money can start streaming in. I need to get more money from these streams that are possibly passive, mm. but you're still earning money. Yes, it gave me, <clears throat> I, I thought about that. It's mm. not like that, that can happen right now. Mm. We can't sell a movie or a song online right now in Uganda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now. But yeah. we can.
can start creating streams for that to happen yes. soon. Oh, yes. Because uh, even before it was hard to get your fans to get to your YouTube page. Oh, yes. Mm. Our East African yeah. fans. Mm. They want to watch something <laughs> on Facebook. You <laughs> know? So That's true. Like, <laughs> I know. Like, we love you, yeah, but YouTube, no. Mm. You know? But right now, we actually got people to go to yes. YouTube. Yes. You can post a link and they actually go there. Mm. So that means we're getting somewhere. So as we started to set up ourselves. I yeah. actually mm. released an album online. Mm. Like, stuff like so. that. Because I didn't, I well, didn't do that before. Code, yeah, I did mm. do that before. So it's not <coughs> like right now that's working. Yeah. But that's where we're going. And in a few years, we'll mm. start making that money. I said thinking about other things of, you know, things that we do for free. For example, you call a Mickey. Oh, yes. This could be <laughs> some know, money. This is money. <laughs> some <laughs> <come> money. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yes. Like I started thinking now about that, all that. I, I'm so gratified that you're allowed to come here without any money. <laughs> Nana, besides the UCC regulations, what can be done to improve the yields from the arts industry and to get it more organized? as an industry, the arts? Okay, I think that we're very divided mm. as the arts. We're very, very divided. There's Is it something so many to do different with egos? Sectors. Yes, there's egos. There's mm. people that see themselves in different demographics. Like mm. people will be like, ah, you're Siginda, you, mm. you know, uh, you know, I, there's, there's, uh, there's there division, classes. there's mm. classicism, mm. there's people who say, I understand this, you don't mm. understand this. Mm. So we are a very divided uh, sector. Mm. And when um, decisions that, affect us are made mm. they're made by people that are not active in the sector so mm. government does call people but like she said you sometimes walk into the room and you think who is mm. this person yeah, true. and th it doesn't mean that they're not relevant it's just it means that they're not active they mm. don't know the problems that we're actually yeah. going through yeah. so mm. um with that being <coughs> said it, we keep saying this thing of we must unite, we must unite. Mm. But also, we have a very negative perspective towards film and television as in arts. Uganda, mm. as the arts in mm. general as well. Um, mm. Our own people will not consume our own products. Yeah. Mm. They think they're substandard. They'd rather, you know, uh, subscribe to Netflix than yeah. go to Cindy's YouTube mm. channel mm. simply because we don't believe in our product. Mm. And we need government help. Simple okay. as that. Not mm. under UCC. There mm. needs to be a body that's just dedicated to the arts. How can they be improved? We have Would the arts and culture. Doesn't it work? Uh, <laughs> It's okay. No, no, it's no, okay. no. Yes, it no, exists. She answered that. It no, exists, I mean. and we must acknowledge it exists, Chamagero. Mm. But is it a fun, truly efficient functional. and functional body? Mm. No. Mm. So this is what must happen. Like the actors in in Los mm. Angeles got mm. together and created the Screen Actors Guild, mm. and then after they created AFTRA, which deals with television, mm. and the Script Writers Guild, we need to get together. And I keep saying this, mm. but again, we are our own worst enemies. Everyone mm. wants to sit in a position of power okay. if, whether they've earned it or not mm. simply yeah. because they look at the monetary value attached to the position you as one of the creators we have in the arts industry especially in the film industry how can we meet the standards of foreign creators as ugandans that we can compete even at the regional scale mm. the regional market cindy can compete on the regional market you can compete in south africa yes but we have some people within our demographic who cannot spill over the borders so how do we meet those standards? Uh, by mm. understanding that the filmmaking business is a business. Mm. So you need to understand the business. Don't make content that gratifies you. Okay. You know, as, as Ugandan filmmakers, we make content that makes us happy. The, the filmmaker, not even considering the viewership, how will mm. they respond? Is it relevant to the market at mm. the time? Mm. If I make this film, I must make sound according to international standards, which mm. is like Dolby. Mm. I must have a synopsis, a concept mm. note. My script must be properly written. Mm. Um, I must have seen breakdowns, locations, must be true to the mm. story mm. i cannot compromise wardrobe makeup i cannot compromise dialogue mm. we do a lot of film uh, in english mm. and yet some people yes our english is shaky mm. and then we look down on <laughs> film i do i do love i she do love a good diplomacy I our do. English yes is our english yeah. is shaky. <laughs> it was so sweet our english is shaky but we look down on on content done in our native tongue we don't want to consume it yes um do, do you you know if yes. anyone ever came up with the dialogue imagine this cindy you're seated on your tv you're watching ntv in your free time mm -hmm. and there is this drama 
it's in Luganda yeah. or it's in Swahili or it's from your, your land uh, where you come from. So where where mm. does she come from? Teso. Oh dear. In Bunyoro, baby. The uh, okay. In the west. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, I see you. I see you, girl. She, she, she's a Michotara in tribe. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, she's, she's mixed. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. So yes. imagine having um, a content of that kind of, um, of, of uh, magnitude on your TV set yes. and you just can't move because every line they speak, you resonate with it. Every word they use, yes. you found it on the set. Oh, it has been flashed at you yes. for one or yes, two reasons. That is true. Yes. Would you would you subscribe to such a channel, Absolutely. or you'd go to Netflix? Absolutely, I would. You know why? Mm. I'm mm. part of the industry, and I understand how important it is to support our own people. Oh yes. Because I have won some international awards. When yes. you go there, they mm. don't. They don't. Uh, they don't want to know how big you are there. Yes. They want to know how big you ha are at home. Yes. Yeah. When you tell them I'm Cindy Sanyu, they immediately get on their tabs and phones and be like, Instagram, what's oh, yes. your... Oh, yes, this person? Yes. And the that's, they want to know you're big at home. Yeah. So you can do everything. Like Nana said, we have to do all that to make oh, yeah. sure everything is up to standard. Yeah. But after that, we still really need home yes. to yes. support us. Yes. And then there was this movie that, that almost got nominated for the Oscars, but yes, they said you sound. have to fill up you have to oh, fill yeah. up the, the venue. Cinema. You oh, have yeah. to fill up the, the cinema. Mm. And how do you get Ugandans to do that? We haven't gotten to that point. Oh, yeah. The other thing I would say is that recently I got to work with, with Jeff in on, on a new movie. Congratulations. And, uh, thank That's you. That's a big name. And then, and then, <coughs> I, and then she submitted into, in, into DSTV, mm. you know, for the... Because at first I was saying, all oh, your content is like too much English. There's mm. too much foreign. We want something original. Oh, so he it. does something with some Nunyang mm. mm. some Acholi, mm. some... And then they say, but we don't understand you. They we need English like it's oh god for one uh, they make it impossible <laughs> yeah. yes for mm. somebody to be creative mm. so it's like you want something original something original I'm half it is sort of Munyoro I grew up from a barracks I want to get all that and give it to you but then you do, you again don't like it mm. you know but you but like you Ugandan want something should international be the first ones to consume it, it. Should and be. I keep telling wow. people that once we have it's the Nigerian formula they wow. use mm. we the Nigerians started to consume their, their own. own content yes. they're over a billion people oh, yeah. You cannot argue with numbers. When we start to consume our own, the region will start to consume our mm. own. Yes. Our stories will then become global because until we tell our stories, someone else will tell them for us. That mm. is so true. the same and that will be distorted. Exactly. Oh, the that, same. That is it's true. like the Wakanda syndrome. Oh dear. This know, is what and, I and tell Beyonce's people. new album, she's making a lot of money from I know, our stories. I know, yeah, but this is, what, yes. this is what was so pivotal about mm. the Black Panther. Yeah. Mm. Wakanda was fictional, oh, yeah. but the U.S. was real. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just think about that. I so know. you can't oh, be, we cannot be that amazing, <laughs> but the U.S. exists. So you must feed off this thing we've given you. Yes. And yet it was, um, that's very unfair. It was just I know, exciting. Right? Yes. It was exciting to see black people. We're all going crazy. The black yeah. part, they're making money. They're raking in billions. Did I they know. donate any to Africa? No. Did Uganda ever get off? The, 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 no. the Wakanda thing they, the, they did off Lake no. Bunyoni. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. UCC, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But well, um, wrapping up this entire conversation, yes. um, uh, uh, post COVID 19, Cindy, where do you see your industry going with regards to the, the music industry? Yes. Where do you want to see and what has it taught you in a, in a minute? Okay, so first of all, I, I'm grateful that Navakoba put a pause to everything. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm glad mm. we can now. Oh, did you have a title before Navakova? Uh, you, you know, I, I no, don't know. No, we are friends. Uh, yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, I met her, so okay, I feel okay. that way. You know, I'm like Navakova, <laughs> yes. Okay, My I brother. see how you're The minutes of ICT. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she paused everything. Mm. And now we can sit down and we talk. That's oh, yeah. amazing. Mm. We've had a lot of time to sit, like I said, and just look at our lyrics and our music. Let mm. the quality and the release after this be like on another level. Oh, yeah. I don't want Ugandan artists to feel like we are only big in Uganda. We're big everywhere. Oh, mm. yeah. We just need to, to establish ourselves more so that those guys can see can us see from, our own, mm. um, from our own people right there. Oh, because yeah. the word international has the word national. You just yeah. can't, you know. Yeah, you start national. You and start you national and you go international. Mm. So let's be encouraged. So mm. this time has helped me just build my my art mm. and create other avenues of making money oh, yes. and and let's let's go with that mm. yes and let's discuss bambi new laws which eh, mm. which are practical <laughs> that, are co that are not conventional yes, yes. Uh, in, the, in in the film industry um, yes. covid 19 and all yes. i know you've had a lot of time you've had a lot of cast running because people are home so they're bored so yes. they'll come and play yes mm. 
Um, in the film industry, actually, mm. uh, post COVID nineteen, we're hoping that it will continue in the same vein it has mm. during COVID, mm. because we've been lucky enough. Now, a lot of uh, information is disseminated digitally, mm. which means that us content makers and creators actually have business, mm. and yeah. I'm hoping that that shift continues oh, yeah. so that we can continue to make content that mm. is, you know absorbed at mm. home because mm. now there's a curfew you must mm. be home at 9 p.m mm. so what it has Very taught us is friends. now you mm. Carry on. <laughs> 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 all good, good. so now i'm gonna chat today <laughs> so now <laughs> Now, we must start to think about the content that we want to disseminate to the yes. public. Yeah. I am a big believer in historical content. Mm. We have yet to touch that. The stories of our mm. great kings, yeah. the stories of our ancestors. Yes. So I am, I am on the holy grail for mm. that. Mm. And I think that we should all involve ourselves mm. now in telling the stories that are relevant to us, not just to make a quick buck, yeah. but to make that. And also, please, mm. UCC, let's sit down and put together regulations that mm. actually benefit the industry, yes. that benefit us, and oh, yeah. also can get you to where you want to get with us. It's a give-give situation. Mm. But just mm. because people keep quiet, like they've said, the film industry has been really quiet. Mm. Just because I put my head down doesn't mean I'm ignorant yeah. of how those regulations can't work. Okay. I just don't believe in going to war over mm. something I'm not going to do. I okay. understand. Yes. Well, that is Nana Kaga for you. <laughs> Cinderella baby. Yes. The king herself. <laughs> well, that is a conversation we've had. Thank you so much, those who have been a part of this conversation. Let's see how best we can add a brick on the arts industry and let's find lasting solutions. We want to commend uh, the Minister of ICT, uh, the Right Honourable, the Honourable uh, Nabakova for finding time and engage the arts industry. As we're going past COVID-19, it's a challenge for you, the arts the artists, the ones who are doing poetry from whatever round and lane where you come from with regards to arts to become much more innovative and to go with a new tide of being innovative and tapping into the international community. I'm Andrew Chama, get on to our son. Shirley after me, much more exciting conversation is coming. Farida Nakazwe is coming up with Mwasu Zamutia. Good morning.